It never rains in Essex, but apparently on the cobbles of Weatherfield, there is often the odd shower. From Towie and from Coronation Street, will you please welcome up on stage Michelle Keegan and Mark Wright. <laughs> Layers are plenty, ladies and gentlemen. Layers, uh, layers are plenty. Uh, Michelle, happy new year, Mark. Happy, happy new year. year. Happy uh, new year. First of all, congratulations. An NTA uh, award nomination for best serial drama performance, which is best soap performance to everybody. Yeah. Um, how proud of you are you for that? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm so chuffed, and I always, I always pinch myself about it anyway to be in Corrie, so to be nominated for an award is just un unbelievable. And you're up against? Um, Hayley? Hayley, who plays Hayley in Cora, uh, who plays Roy, and Jesse Wallace from EastEnders. So is there any kind of infighting in the green room at no, the new no, set? No, no, not at all. <laughs> to be fair, we've all, uh, even the cast always said that we think that Hayley should win, or Jules. So for, for she's been amazing with her storyline that she's been given in the minute. And of course, you're leaving Coronation Street soon. Yeah. Can you tell us anything? What can you let, uh, secrets, can you, can you let us know about Tina's exit? Uh, well, to be fair, I don't know any at the minute. Um, obviously, affairs going on at the minute, um, which is a bit daunting, you know. I've always thought Tina was a nice character at the minute. Don't mean she's been a naughty girl. Um, so at the minute, we're just doing that. I haven't heard how I do exit, but hopefully it's gonna be really exciting. Now, Mark, we know you from television. We'll ask you about that in a moment. But also, you have a footballing past. Spurs as a youth player and then played for a couple of non-league clubs. What's your memories of your footballing career? And why aren't you still doing it, man? Come on. What's television got that football hasn't? Um, not much, to be honest. But uh, I, I do still play. I play with my friends. Uh, I enjoy it now. And as soon as I started playing for money, I think that's when I stopped enjoying it. I mean, I didn't get the money that these players are getting. That's probably why. But um, I do still play and I really enjoy it. And obviously being at Tottenham was great, although I don't support them. In fact, I far from support them, especially after they released me. But uh, yeah, I went on to play non-league and it was all right. And then television, you know, that took over and I just kept to that. Uh, footballing geeks amongst us, and I am one, know of a website called Soccer Base, which is basically where all the stats are of all players. You have an entry, you're on there. So I looked up your last goal. Can you remember it? Um, yeah, when a professional guy it was when I dropped a semi-pro for Crawley against Tamworth. It was a lucky little tap-in from about 10 yards. See, they never forget the goals they score. Never forget. And you yourself have a new TV programme coming out. When can we catch it and can you tell us a bit about it? Yeah, it was um, me travelling the world. Uh, it was last summer for about four to five months. Um, I was living with people in completely different cultures to me who live different lives. And I had to throw them a party at the end of a week for a certain reason that would be an important reason. And it comes on the screens February the 26th on ITV2 at 9 o'clock. Good plug. Yes, they know the goals and they know what things to plug as well. I, I have to admit, and I apologise to both of you, I didn't watch Towie, I don't watch Towie. But I've got a little question here, which makes perfect sense apparently. Michelle, how are you getting on with Nanny Pat? Oh, <laughs> that's Mark's Nana. She's, so, she's lovely. She really is. And she does make sausage plat and it's amazing. We have it all the time. <laughs> so that is real? It's real and it's amazing. It's my favourite at any buffet. She had about 10 pieces at the, was it the Boxing Day party? Yeah, it is actually my favourite food at a family buffet every single time. What do you think you're going to miss the most about Manchester when you um, do move down to Essex? Yeah, I've been moving down probably about May. Um, to be fair, I, I probably will see it more uh, because at the minute I'm working so many hours in a week. And the weekends that I do have off, I'm always up and down and traveling around. So I probably take time out to come and catch up with people and shop and do the normal things, really. So probably see more Manchester. And bearing in mind, is footballing past. Do you enjoy watching football together? Are you going to enjoy this tonight? Yeah, I really enjoy it. Like, I come to watch Mark's brother. He plays for Millwall quite a lot. Um, so yeah, I do, I do love watching it. And especially with Mark as well, because he tells me what's going on. So I'm not that very good at football. <laughs> so he helps me with that. Are you educating her a bit, Mark? Uh, I'm trying. Now she's all right. <laughs> I think she knows what the offside roar is now. 
Really? Mm. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that because that's better than most. That's better. <laughs> really appreciate that. Uh, guys, it's been so great to meet you. Thank you for coming out. It's very Thank chilly. You. Really appreciate Thanks your so time. Thank when you, you go down south, it's always sunny. It's always shining. Don't you worry. It's absolutely fine. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank, uh, thank them you. with us. It's Mark Thank and you. Michelle.